restaurant, some place where there's people so I feel safe. They're going to search me when I first meet them, right? Okay, I'm introducing you to an iconic and pivotal scene from the iconic and the iconic movie, The Godfather, directed by Francis Ford Coppola. And the key lesson that we're going to take away from this structure and this story is about the role of the director and the actors in telling a story. Now, you may not be directing a movie, you may not be on stage or writing a book, but you are trying to get people to care about what you do and what you're talking about. So as we'll learn in this course, for example, being successful about conveying data is about telling a story. So how do you get people to c care about data? Data is just numbers. If you look, for example, at the, the data, and we'll look at this in, in the course, the data from fundraising, and I'm talking specifically about fundraising for disease or social causes, people don't invest or pay money according to logic. You know, you know they don't put their money where the biggest needs are. They put their money where the biggest emotions are. So, you know, that's why uh, NGOs don't talk about a million people starving anymore. They talk about the story of this little young boy in the village who doesn't have food and water because we care about the little young boy, but we don't care about a million people because a million people is just a number. And it's the same with data. And it's the same with anything that you do, your product, your team, your idea, your transformation, your data, your presentation. Nobody cares, especially today when it's increasingly hard to get people's attention. So what I want to show you in this scene is a little bit of backstory about how to make people care. Now, backstory to this, The Godfather, this scene we have young Al Pacino, who's the the new pretender to the the empire, the uh, the mafia empire to become the Don. And he's actually here with his older brother. So he, he isn't actually the main man at this stage. He's the young guy, the underdog, and he's sitting here. And that we're talking about, at this stage, um, revenge on a bad a bent cop a cop who has his fingers both in the world of policing and the mob and they're going to exact some revenge on this guy but in sort of their history e even the mafia don't take it out on cops it's just not done but now he's going to he, this is his opportunity to step up and become the new guy on the block and take over and this plays out in the scene and Really, why I wanted to share this with you is to understand the difference between Coppola, the, the director, and Al Pacino, the actor, and really what you are in the story. You are not the di sorry, you're not the actor. You're not Al Pacino here. You're the guy setting the scene. You're the director of this story. So, for example, if you're standing up and talking about digital transformation, or you're standing up and talking about an idea for your team, or you're presenting the new iPhone, these are just actors. This is an actor in the scene. And you have to remember that, that that's all it is. And what a director really does, and this is, I suppose, one of the least known parts about what exactly a director does because we kind of think that a director just kind of does this and you know moves the camera but ultimately they do a lot more than that and the the key part of this is the director makes us care the director makes us care about the actors because they create the connection they show the the actors have this humanity or maybe they show that the actors are trapped in events as it is in the godfather this through story where michael is really just on a mission and without any kind of say in the matter he just has to act out this na this narrative arrow which takes him from event to event to scene to scene to scene and that is in the godfather the need to impress his father and that goes way back. It's like his father's past now, his late father, who was played by Robert De Niro in the, the earlier scenes, right? And 
he just has to impress his father. That That's the overriding desire and burning need. And he doesn't have any say in the matter. And so every scene that plays out, all he is able to do is choose how he's going to act the scene. He doesn't choose the scenes. And this is really important when you're presenting data or you're presenting in a, in a public speaking environment or you're just trying to get your team to think about change. You have to get them to care about the actors, whether it's your presentation, your idea or your data. And you have to show there's this narrative through story. And what you'll see now is how Francis Ford Coppola manages to get people to care about a violent gangster. I mean, this is the point. He's a violent mobster. He's a murderer, a criminal. And if that's all he was, nobody would care. Nobody would watch three movies. But that's the point. He's not this beast. He, he has this sort of beast within him. But what the director is able to do is make us care about the beast, stuff we should normally not care about. We empathize with this guy. And that's the power of a great storyteller. They make us empathize with data, make us empathize with the actors. So let's have a listen. So I can't have a weapon on me then. But if Clemenza can figure a way to have a weapon planted there for me, then I'll kill them both. That's his older brother now. <laughs> hey, what are you going to do? Nice college boy, huh? Didn't want to get mixed up in the family business? Huh? Now you want to gun down a police captain? Why, because he slapped you in the face a little bit? Huh? What do you think, this is the army where you shoot him a mile away? You got to get up close like this, and bing you blow their brains all over your nice cyber league suit. Come here. Mwah! You're taking us very personal. Tom, this is business, and this man has taken it very, very personal. Where does it say that you can't kill a cop? Come on, Mikey. Tom, wait a minute. I'm talking about a cop that's mixed up in drugs. I'm talking about a, a, a dishonest cop. So Coppola is now showing that this beast, this man has values, that he a code which he adheres to. So he's not just this sort of random murderer. He's somebody who believes in a truth. And we are now led to believe in this as well. Even if it's difficult for us to empathize with the outcome, we empathize with his beliefs. A crooked cop who got mixed up in the rackets and got what was coming to him. That's a terrific story. And we have newspaper people on the payroll, don't we, Tom? They might like a story like that. They might. They just might. It's not personal, son. It's strictly business. Wow, what a scene. And how well directed that scene was. And especially the, the last, the iconic line, it's not personal, it's strictly business. And really that summarizes the character, the through story of the actor. It's Al, the Al Pacino plays that it's not personal, it's business. It's business being the, the, the events which have conspired to bring him here now. It's not what he believes in, it's what the situation of the world is. And really, this is the skill of a director. And I think what we need to do is when we present, when we tell stories, we have to see ourselves not as the actor, but as the director of that scene. So think about it, when you're presenting a PowerPoint with data in it, that, that's your actor there. And you're the director now. So you have to now approach that and think, I have an audience, I have an actor. What is the narrative scene that I'm trying to build here? What is the backstory of events that make people care? And what is the outcome that I need to take people to, which is often difficult? And whether it is in the case of Steve Jobs getting to build a new office or going to the moon or killing a cop, the point is, is that it's uncomfortable. And this is really what a director can do is a director can take us across the river and the river really define, divides, I suppose, the world of comfort and unknown. And that's the crossing. The director's role is to get us across that. And that's why, especially now in the in the 
you know, in the middle of crisis, with pandemics, COVID, you know, we're facing these waves of crisis. We're facing um, the fourth industrial revolution, the Asian century, digital transformation, work from home, COVID-19. These are all these exogenous shocks which push us or force us to leave our world of comfort and across the river to the unknown. And that requires a director because they, a, a manager can't do that. An actor can't do that. They simply follow the script. But you can write the script. And your job as a leader and a storyteller is to get people to cross that river. And the way to do that is not to see yourself in that scene, but to think about those actors within the scene and the roles that they play within it. And once you start looking at it like that, no matter what you do, whether you're talking about digital transformation or you're presenting data, all of it becomes about this narrative through story, which is being told. And in a way, these are the best stories. The best stories aren't told. They are simply born. They are lived out through the people who are part of them. And so if you can connect your data, your actors to these narrative structures, you can make people care. And that's why, for example, when people do present amazing data or do people do present amazing ideas, people don't care. And you get that kind of <sighs> crickets, tumbleweed response, because what the director failed to do was make people care about the actor. So hopefully that was a useful walkthrough, seeing yourself as a director. And that is probably one of the first steps in understanding how you can become a better storyteller.